Good morning. Uh, working on a little project. I had done this before, but I'm trying to uh, revamp and upgrade. Uh, this is just your basic orange ammo box. Uh, so what I'm trying to do today is uh, improve it to make it my um, first aid kit. Uh, in a perfect world, I would like to get one a little bit bigger. I know they make them like this. Uh, they, they're also uh, this color. Uh, I like the, the color because you, it's going to stand out. If you're in, in a crisis situation, you'll be able to, um, you know, find find it relatively easy. Uh, probably, I just looked at one earlier. It's about almost twice this size, and it's called a marine uh, dry box for boaters. So basically, I'm just going to talk about uh, what I think some of the essentials are to have in this kit. Uh, no particular order. Um, some of the stuff I have here, it, it's going to be too much the way it's currently constructed to fit into this box, but I have a remedy for some of that. Um, so anyway, right now you can see there's nothing in here at this point. Um, the one thing, two products I, I definitely want to have in this is one is uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, uh, isopril alcohol. So that's really helpful to have in your kit. Um, however, because of the size of this and the, the small size of this box, uh, what I've done today is I went to Walmart, got four of these little uh, plastic bottles. So what I'm going to do is be transferring that into this. It's going to be a tremendous space saver. Uh, you can see that's not going to take up much space at all. Um, so that's item number one is uh, the alcohol. Item number two, hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, so that's the same thing. I'm going to put that in another one of these bottles. So that's, that's two items you want to have in your box, according to me. So there's two, two items right there. Um, this is the uh, Walmart version of the, like the uh, Neosporin. It's an antibiotic cream. It's also a pain relief. So that's a, I got the little small version just so it would fit in there easily. So those three items so far. Um, the other thing is uh, I probably have a little excess here. Um, I might want to put these in a, like a plastic bag. But these are like the little wet naps you get at, at the restaurant. Um, they're good to have uh, when you clean up or, you know, the worst case scenario, if you have to do number two out there in Mother Nature, you'll have something to wipe with. Um, the next item would be tweezers. I'll be pulling these out of this package. But, you know, if you get a splinter, you know, whatever, you know, from wood or sticker bush or something like that, tweezers are a good thing to have. I'll be taking it out of the package to save space. So that's that's another item. Um, these uh, wet naps are another nice thing to have. Uh, it's kind of almost a duplication of the wet naps, uh, but that's that's nice to have. Uh, it's anti or antibacterial wet wipes. That's another item. Uh, just for uh, I do a lot of camping, so this is kind of like some of the things I like to have available to me when I'm camping. Um, this has an emergency backup, two, two cheap Walmart ponchos for, I think, 99 cents each. So that's another item I'd like to have in my uh, first aid kit for safety reasons. Um, now, the other thing is uh, ace bandage. This is the ace bandage type with the uh, metal clips. So if, you, if you're injured somehow, you know, you might need to make a, a sling or something like that. You'll, you'll have uh, that available to you. Hopefully, hopefully you'll never need that, but that's another thing to consider. Uh, I'll be taking this out of the package as well. It's athletic tape. There's many uses for that. You could um, use your own type of padding, uh, create your own you know, big uh, bandage or what have you. Athletic tape is not a bad thing to have with you. Uh, the other thing is uh, ibuprofen for obvious reasons. You get a massive headache or something like that. 
nice to have that with you. Uh, the other thing I, I don't have with me right now, but I, I like with these type of containers, um, when I'm camping, I do have it in my camping kit, but I have an empty container like this with a bunch of matches, wooden strike matches, and I also have the strike plate inside this. So uh, if I'm never in a crisis situation outdoors, uh, hiking or what have you, I, I have some type of uh, fire force. Uh, also have toilet paper, have that jammed in there. Uh, this is a new addition I uh, just purchased this morning. I was thinking about different things to add to the kit. Um, you, you know, why the shaving cream? What, you know, what's up with that? So, uh, shaving cream is is well known to uh, ease the pain if you get sunburned. If you're outdoors and get sunburned, so it's uh, preferably you get the kind with uh, uh, the aloe in it. So uh, that's a good thing to have. Um, petroleum jelly. And we're about to wrap it up here. Just uh, one more thing, you know, if, if you're camping, you're outdoor, you know, what, I, what have you, I, I do I'm, a lot of my examples are camping related because that's a lot of what I do. But this is another good item to have is an air horn. If, if you know, you've broken your leg or, you know, you're, you're miles deep in the woods or something like that, and you're trying to signal for help, an air horn is a really good idea to... Uh, the other little bit cheaper option would be uh, just a regular whistle, athletic whistle. Just keep that around your neck or in your box, and uh, that's a, a good thing to have with you. So um, I'm open to any suggestions on and what you think. Uh, I know currently the way this is all constructed right now, there's no way that's all going to fit in here, but that's why I'm downsizing on a few things. I'm going to take some stuff out of packaging and... Uh, Hopefully, uh, you know, that's going to serve its purpose. Hopefully, I never will have to, but it's better to be prepared than not prepared. So have a great day, and remember, know your legal limits.